Hi, I'm Clarence from St. Paul, Minnesota, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Peace. This is where we went to sleep in Chamberlain, Saskatchewan. I'm just trying to, before I get going, trying to load up my game again to make sure that it didn't delete my save game again overnight. It's taking quite a while to load though. Still doing this little spinny thing in the corner there, but this is taking a little while. Huh. Better not have erased my game again. This computer is acting really weird. Lately it's been... Oh, there we go. Start. Okay, let's see. You didn't erase all my, all my progress again, did you? Did you? That, there's that. There's that. Ha-ha! You did save it. Okay, good. See, there's my tractor. My little... I oh, can't really see it because of that sun glare. Yesterday it deleted all of my saved games. But I found it though. I was able to restore it. Thank God for backups. Guess I should plug this in. My phone's almost dead. Alright. Is it charging? Are you charging? Why aren't you charging? Hey! Why are you unplugged back there? Hey! Who told you you could be unplugged? Alright, get ourselves rolling here again. I need a coffee. Really badly. I'm gonna stop in Davidson, Saskatchewan, just up ahead here. Flying J. That bug tried to fly right into you guys. You think the windshield was there to stop it? Ah, it's dried on already. Such a hot day. Can't get it off. Huh, all right, well, have to look at some bug guts for a bit. Coming up to North Battleford. It looks like I'll be driving late into the night. Uh, that's okay. I slept a little longer than uh, I wanted to, but we're still on time. I only got to be there for tomorrow midday or so, or tomorrow during the morning. I think I'm going to have to buy a new steer tire next weekend when I get home. That one steer tire that was on my passenger side and I switched to the driver's side because it was wearing too quickly, I think I was a little late catching it and a little late switching it because it's wearing down really fast now. Usually once it starts wearing unevenly, it, starts, it just starts to go really quick, just like this. Uh, so it's, it's not wearing evenly now on my driver's side. It's causing a little bit of a shake in my truck. I was hoping it was going to last longer than this. Looks like I'll have to go and get that switched out. <coughs> They're like seven to $900 tires. If they're still the same price that they used to be, which I'm guessing they are probably more expensive than they used to be because everything keeps going up in price, right? That's too bad, but yeah, it's trucking. Everything wears out too quickly and everything's too expensive. Maintenance is ridiculously expensive on a truck. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just forewarning you. The mechanics like to make a lot of money, or the shop. I don't know who gets the most of the money, either the mechanics or the shop. They're at like $100 an hour now to get your truck in the shop. $100 an hour. Ridiculous. Our wages aren't going up at all. We're not making any more money, but somebody's wages are going up somewhere. Because the shop used to be like, what, 30 bucks an hour, 40 bucks an hour? Now it's 100 Where's that extra money going to? The mechanic or the shop? Because if it's going to the mechanic, that would tick me off. Don't get me wrong, I like mechanics. But you need them, they're necessary, but you know, without us drivers bringing trucks to them, they wouldn't have any work to do either. So how come our wages aren't going up, but theirs are? That's a, one of the problems in the trucking industry right now is that the maintenance guys, their wages, their prices are going up, 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 up. The drivers, our wages, staying the same. The wages have stayed the same since, pretty much the same what, since the 80s? Meanwhile, everything else has gone up, up, up. Oh well. We do this job because we love this job, not because we want to get rich. The next 
fuel stop I know for sure exists is in Fort McMurray, and that's quite a ways away from here yet. So I don't want to risk going too low on fuel. And it's a beautiful day. I sort of want to get out of the truck and walk around a bit, get some fresh air while I'm fueling. 500 meters. Turn right on 52 Street. No, Mandy. In 500 meters, I'm going to turn left and go fuel at Flying J. How's that sound? In 400 meters, turn left onto 52nd Street. Google knows what she's talking about. What's wrong with you, Mandy? Get with the program. You sit on a throne of lies. I'm turning left. I'm not turning right. Turn right on 52 Street. Nope. You're a liar, Mandy. Turn left onto 52nd Street, then turn left onto 63rd Avenue. Look at these ladies fighting over me. It makes me feel important. I'm going with Google this time, though, Mandy. She's still trying Take the to... next left onto 63rd Avenue. The Ladies. new destination will be on the right. Ladies, stop fighting. Stop fighting. I already told you what I'm going to do. Right here. It's just a car block. destination is on the right. Thanks, Google. Appreciate it. No thanks to you, Mandy. You're trying to confuse me. Lead me down dark paths. You're a bad influence. Old school, got to feel up both sides from one side. Super old school. that see how it's wearing all funny it's causing my truck to shake down the road not good not good and there's just the one pump like I was saying right? one pump one hose you just gotta feed it through like that you're done fueling one side. And you grab it from this side. Fuel up this side. Same pump. Oh. All the way up over there to that pump. This is how most of the pumps used to be up here in Canada. But now it's not as common to see this kind of thing. The only bad thing about this is that it's just a card lock. Card lock, sorry. I gotta go over to the next truck stop to get a coffee. That's okay, whatever. Drive 950 meters, then turn right on 16. Mandy, I know we haven't been on good terms here lately, but you know, I'm going to give you another chance, all right? I'd like you to guide me to my customer. Got another 600 kilometers to go. 670. We'll go there. We'll get there late tonight yet. Or nearby. And I'm supposed to unload, well, tomorrow as soon as I get there. I have a reload waiting for me in Edmonton already. A load of lumber that's going to Wisconsin. However, I'm just bringing it to our yard and... Uh, I'm getting some work done on my computer system of my truck, the, the satellite e-log system. I'm getting a brand new one installed. In 500 meters, turn right on 16. Kind of looking forward to it because the one I have now is like ancient. It keeps freezing on me. Where is this Petro Pass? Petro Pass is up here on the right, right? Petro Pass should have coffee. Or maybe not. You know what? No, I'm going to go straight. I'll just go to the Husky. I 
thought there was a petrol pass right here, but there's not. Okay. I don't usually fuel at this Flying J here. I usually uh, turn right on 16. Fuel in Edmonton, but we're not going all the way to Edmonton today. We're going up north, and I don't usually go up north, so I don't really know what to expect up there. That was not winter time, so I'm not expecting a lot of bad weather and storms, but I still want to have full tanks of fuel. I don't think it's picking it up, but those northern lights are pretty cool. Ah, my camera's just not picking it up. That's too bad. Still trucking. I guess the northern lights will be just for me. Sorry, I tried to share. the rest area. Alberta, I'm still going to stay on your back about uh, improving those just a little bit. I know it costs a lot of money, so I understand you can't do it all right away, but it'd be nice if there'd be a plan in the future to have flushing toilets and running water, maybe a sink where you can wash your hands after you do the deed, if that's what you want to call it. That was just a hole in the ground with a roof over it. All of the rest areas in Alberta are just a hole in the ground, like old fashioned, like just outhouses. They're actually fancy outhouses because they actually have a sealed building around it. So it seals in all the good smell for you when you walk in there. Alberta, I expect more from you. <laughs> I'd expect this from Manitoba, but Manitoba actually has nice rest areas with flushing toilets and running water. Yeah, it's bright out here. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. I'm just waking up. I haven't had my coffee yet. Cut me some slack. I went in there to... Well, you know, I went in... Woo! Oh, that's a wake up. That'll wake you up. Maybe that's why they do that. It wakes up the drivers, you know? You drowsy on the road? Pull over to the rest area and go for a pee. That'll wake you up when you walk in there. Woo! I hate to end the vlog on this note, but... I figured I'd, I'd, I'd mention it. It's the next morning now, uh, like I said, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching yesterday. We had some really great scenery with that sunset last night. Got here, uh, we're at the May Tower rest area on Highway 63 headed north towards Fort Mac, and there's nothing here other than this hole in the ground. Uh, nothing, just empty, empty forests. I guess it's not empty forests, it's just forests all the way up to Fort Mac. And we'll uh, unload tomorrow. Apparently my reload got changed from Edmonton. Now there's a reload in Fort Mac for me. Actually, they were just dinging me. Let's see what, let's see what they say. Oh, no, load fell through, pick up lumber load. Okay, no problem. Okay, well that is too bad. But, uh, so we're going to Edmonton to pick up that lumber load when we're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the little bell beside the subscribe button that will notify you when my next vlog goes live so you can watch it as well. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.